Amazon Prime because I ordered this pre-workout last night and it showed up at my door like 15 minutes ago. So that's amazing. This is my go-to pre-workout. It's the Amino Lean. This is the blackberry or the pomegranate fruit punch flavor. I was so off. But usually this one and the watermelon are like my favorite. And I had this one probably the last like couple times that I've ordered it. Because it's the only one that overnight ships. So Next time I definitely want to get the watermelon, but this one is so good. Good morning, you guys. Happy Thursday. Welcome back to another vlog. It's 8.30 this morning. We're about to head into the gym, get a workout in. I'm training shoulders and back today, which are my favorite. I love training anything upper body, as you guys know. So it'll be a good workout this morning. And I just threw on this little jacket from Amazon. Leggings are almost said Lulu. These are aloe. And then my hat is just... A normal little baseball hat because I have a big old zit on my face and I'm trying to hide it so we're covering the face okay we're incognito in the gym today but I've been living in this little cropped zip up it's the cutest thing ever I think it's around $40 on Amazon it's on my storefront under like fitness clothes or something like that I'll have a link down below but you guys I love this so much it's so stinking cute but we're gonna finish up my pre-workout and then we'll head on in Here's a very quick and simple high protein breakfast I eat for you guys. These pancake bowls, so good. I'll leave the exact recipe down below, but it's become one of my new favorites. While I get ready this morning, I'm gonna highlight a few new products that I've been using in my makeup routine because I switched up the base of my makeup, which honestly always scares me because I do have very sensitive skin, but I tried out this new e.l.f. liquid glow foundation. So good, especially for being a drugstore foundation. I was honestly shocked by this. And I tried using the Maybelline what was it? Oh, it's right here. The Superstay 24-hour skin tint, and my skin actually reacted from it. So we don't love that, but I really like this foundation. It's definitely like a very lightweight foundation, which will be perfect for the summertime, and it's very buildable. It's more of like a lightweight coverage, which I like because I don't like my makeup to feel very cakey on my skin, but it's so smooth on the skin and super, super pretty. I just kept the base of my makeup the same, like the primer and everything. I always use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really, really like this primer. And then I'm gonna blend this out. I finally got new makeup brushes, so that feels a lot better on my skin. My makeup brushes were definitely done for and needed a refresh. So I got these from Amazon and they were like 10 bucks for, I think, 24 makeup brushes. <laughs> like, I know it's good to have quality makeup brushes, but honestly, I'm not really picky about it. But you can just see how nice this blends into my skin. So I'm gonna blend that. And then I've been using the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. This has been like a ride or die ever since I discovered it. Probably like a year ago, I've pre-purchased this countless amounts of times, it's so good. But I'll just put that under my eyes to brighten up the under eyes. Also, I definitely wanna do a full on get ready with me video soon because I've been getting so many comments and compliments about my skin, like how glowing my makeup always looks and what I do for my makeup routine, whether it's from my friends in real life or just on TikTok, so maybe I'll do like a full-on in-depth video where I show you guys all the products, any of my skills. I don't really have makeup skills, but something makes it look super dewy and glowy, so I guess I'm doing something right, but I'm just gonna blend out this under the eyes, and then I'm gonna like contour my skin, or contour my face, which I've just been using the Rare Beauty Contour Stick. This is actually a newer product for me. I got this a couple months ago, and I really, really like it. So I'm gonna use that, and then I got some new blush, which I really wanna show you guys, because I love blush, and I'm so picky about the different blushes that I use, but this new one that I got is so bomb. <music> Thank you. 
Something I love to do with my bronzer is put powder bronzer over top of the liquid bronzer just because it helps lock it in and last so much longer and it just really helps with the bronzy look. I don't really like contour my face, but I definitely like to just like bring attention to the high points of my face, give it a bronzy kind of look, and bring color back to my skin. So I always lock it in with a powder bronzer. And another one of my favorite, I totally forgot to show you guys, this was a new product that I tried out and was genuinely shocked if you saw my TikTok. I did not expect to love this, or I expected to love this bronzer because I love a Tower 28 blush, but I didn't think this bronzer was gonna apply like as seamlessly as it did. I'll kind of show you guys. It's like in this pan form, and since it is like a liquid slash powder, what would you call it? Um, I don't know, like it has, what am I trying to say? Cream, cream is the word I'm looking for. Because it is a cream bronzer, like sitting in this pan like this, I kind of was a little skeptical of how it would apply on my skin so beautifully. Like a little bit goes the longest way with this and it lasted on my skin all day long and really just gives that skin look. Like that's what I like with my makeup. I don't like a cakey kind of look or little bits of powder on my skin. I just really love to look fresh and dewy and just that skin type of finish like i want my makeup to enhance my skin not necessarily take away so that's a life hack with this is it gives that skin look and i freaking love it so that's one of my faves and then for my blush i've been using this say do blush which is totally worth the hype i was seeing this all over tiktok so when i was at sephora i saw it and needed to try it out and i got it in the color sweetie so it's more of like a poppy pink which I'm really into corally pink blushes, but I was like, we're gonna try something different for the summertime. And I love, love, love the way that it looks on my cheeks. It's that perfect pink that just makes you look sun-kissed and really helps the cheeks pop. I think it looks like I got cheek filler. Every time I put this on, I'll kind of show you guys once I finish. You can just see that's the one side, so pretty. It really helps lift up the face. I'm a big blush girl, so this is one of my favorite products and it's so nice i want to try out the other colors i know they have quite a few different color options but again it gives that like skin finish because it's just super dewy and i don't even have highlighter on my skin right now and you can just see how flawless it looks wow yeah i love 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 that blush i'm gonna link it down below i'll link all these products down below for you guys but truly if i recommend anything more than ever it is this Save Do Blush because it's so bomb. I also have the Rare Beauty Blush and it's either Happy or Hope. I forget what shade it's in. I think it's Happy. I don't know, it's somewhere back there. But it's also a pretty pink blush, but I really, really, really love the way that this one applies and how it just sits nicely on my skin. So those are all of the new products that I've been using. I'm gonna show you a new lip combo as well. I'm just gonna finish up like doing my eyes and adding a bit of highlighter. This is the highlighter I use. It's from Milk Makeup. It is the Flex Highlighter and I love this highlighter as well. My friend was like, what highlighter do you use? You need to send me the link because your highlight is always popping whether we're hanging out in the daylight or we're out at night for dinner or something, your cheeks are just always glowing. And I swear, this is the best ever, it's so good. Now I'm just going to spritz my face. I need to get more of this Morphe setting spray. I don't know if this is the best for my skin. I'm like literally out. I think I have one more. Yeah, this was the last, this is the last spray. There's literally nothing left now. I don't even want to spray because it'll just not work, but I need to get a new setting spray. So maybe I'll do that today while I run errands because I cannot live without my setting spray, especially as, as it gets warmer here in Florida. You need setting spray or else your makeup lasts maybe five minutes especially with humidity and everything. So I'm gonna quickly run through and do my eyebrows, my mascara, and then I'll show you guys the new lip combo, which I do need to get a new eyebrow pencil because this one is way too light for my brows. And then my other one is like a literal nub right now. This is how much I have left, nothing. I can barely sharpen it anymore. Lastly, we're gonna finish up with the lips. This has been my go-to combo recently. I love playing around with different lip combos and especially because I've been doing lots of peachy makeup recently. This is the perfect peachy nude and honestly just like everyday wear type of nude. So the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Creative and then over top I just use the Sephora Collection Lipstick in the shade Fearless. And this is such a buttery soft lipstick as well and I love this lip liner. So that's been the combo and it's so pretty. After I change and head out into the natural lighting, you'll see the makeup a bit better, but 
this is just what the lip combo looks like. I love it. I've been obsessing over it recently because it's that perfect peachy nude that I always wear and I've been looking for like the perfect lip liner and lipstick duo and this is it. So bomb. Now that I'm all ready for the day, here's a better look at the makeup and the natural lighting. Again, just very minimal and glowy, which I've been loving. So before we head on out to the coffee shop, here's my outfit of the day. I'm just wearing these cargo pants that I recently got from Abercrombie. I showed them in one of my last vlogs and I freaking love them. They're just a classic like parachute style of cargo pant, which are my favorite type of style. Shoes are from 112s. Purse is Salmont, of course, for my little bodysuit. This is Skims. I love the Skims bodysuits. They just fit like a glove and they're so flattering. And then underneath it, literally all I wear are just nippy skins. And this thing just works magic. Like it's the best. So I can link this entire outfit down below. For my hair, I just decided to slick it back because today's hair wash day. So the last thing I wanted to do was mess around with my hair. I just threw in some of that day like styling cream, which I recently got. Well, I didn't recently get, I recently started using it. And I really love how it just slicks my hair back, especially with how thick my hair is. I'm surprised it works so well on my hair, but then I just have these Amazon Sunnies and that's the fit. So I'm gonna pack up my bag and then we'll head out to the coffee shop. Feel like Mary Poppins right now. I have so many bags in my front seat. I've got my gym bag, my purse, and then my computer bag. But it's about 3.15 right now. I'm heading over to Anna's because we're gonna change and get ready for a sculpt tonight. And it's way closer to her house. It just makes way more sense for me to have all of my stuff rather than going to and from my apartment because that would be a waste of time and a lot out of the way. But we're gonna head over to sculpt. I'm so excited because this is like one of her favorite instructors and people love him. I think his name is Jeffrey. So sculpt at 4.30 at camp and then we'll get back home make some dinner i have a meal prepped dinner from the other night that is so good it's egg roll or an undone egg roll bowl and it's been like my current fixation right now i've been trying out a lot of new recipes as you guys have seen so i have that for dinner get some cleaning done and all of that because i head out of town on saturday morning so i just want to get everything prepped and ready to go because tomorrow will definitely be work heavy type of day for Friday, just so that I don't have any looming work or things like that over the weekend. heated up my dinner tonight and I know it doesn't look the best but I'm telling you it tastes so good. It's basically just a deconstructed egg roll bowl so if you like egg rolls or Asian food it's so freaking bomb and it only took me like 20 minutes to make the other day when I meal prepped it and I'm not big into meal prepping so the fact that I generally enjoy having this says a lot because I don't love like leftover foods but the best part about making a meal that tastes even better like as it's been sitting or just like better as leftovers is that you have lunch and dinner for the next couple of days and this is perfect to throw together if you're feeling very lazy or just have like a very busy day like I did today and the last thing I felt like doing after coming home from my workout class and cleaning my apartment was making a whole mess in the kitchen and making a big old dinner so this is so good <laughs> It's 
about 11 15 i just got into bed obviously and honestly i'm not that tired so i was considering taking one of my let me sleep gummies because those just like knock you out but i do have to get up pretty early tomorrow so probably gonna head to bed pretty soon here i started reading a perfect or the perfect marriage the other day so i'm just gonna read like a few chapters until i start to feel pretty tired because if i were to lie down right now and just scroll my phone there's a thousand percent chance that i could be up until one or like 1 30 because i'm not feeling tired enough yet and my cold brew is definitely still in the system having cold brew at like one today and then the pilates workout around 4 30 i feel like that re-energized me so i just had a lot of energy the rest of the day and that kind of surprised me because usually after workouts I have like a lit I feel a little bit tired usually after orange theory I do but when I strength train I don't feel super exhausted until like a couple hours later but that Pilates class like revived me I'm like I'm re-energized and ready to go I could live a whole nother day right now but I need to go to bed because like I said tomorrow I have an early day I was considering vlogging tomorrow but I just want to work pretty much all day get organized before I head out of town for Miami I also need to pack for Miami tomorrow so tomorrow will be a busy day in that sort of sense but I'm gonna end off the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed this video I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next vlog bye